When President Obama visited Sweden last year, he expressed his admiration for the Swedish model. And that should make Americans nervous, because a United Nations report says Sweden will be a third world nation in about 15 years, below Libya and Bulgaria. Sweden is a society that believes it is racing into the future, but critics warn that it's racing to the bottom. Welcome to Utopia, also known as Sweden. Sweden has been a laboratory of social experiments. Swedish leaders believe they're building the perfect society. And Sweden has been compared to a couple of nations which also tried to build perfect societies, North Korea and the Soviet Union. If you don't like how utopia is being built here, you won't be shot like in North Korea, but your life could become very unpleasant very quickly. Hello, hello. Jimmy Fredriksson from Expressen. Jimmy Fredriksson. Yeah. Aha, this is a journalist from one of Sweden's leading tabloids confronting a Swede at his home. The man, a professor, made what he thought were anonymous negative comments on a website about immigrant problems in Sweden. But left-wing hackers helped the newspaper track him down and others like him so that they could be exposed before the whole nation as racist. This man, a manager, was fired because of it. Sweden's leftist establishment and media believe a cornerstone of their perfect society is multiculturalism, large-scale immigration from some of the poorest, most backward nations on earth. And Swedes who disagree with that plan risk being labeled racist, fascist, even Nazi. The rules of the game in Sweden is to avoid being hostile to immigration. It's the most important point to prove that you're friendly towards foreigners, you're friendly towards Immigration. Danish journalist Mikael Jolving is author of the book Absolute Sweden. It's all about whether or not you can be said to be hostile to immigration. Once that is proven, proven, uh, I mean, you're out of the game. It doesn't matter if Sweden's immigration model is failing miserably, if test scores in Swedish schools are plummeting, or if crime in some areas has skyrocketed. Immigrants burned the Stockholm suburb of Husby for over a week last year. Many Jews now live in fear of attacks by Muslim immigrants and are leaving. This former journalist for Swedish radio left last year and returned to her native Somalia. She told Swedish television that Mogadishu was safer than the immigrant suburbs in Stockholm. And forget about an American-style melting pot in which immigrants will someday learn to become Swedish. That's a racist idea, too. Jolving says Swedes are supposed to learn from immigrants and not the other way around. Assimilation is completely out of the question. Who says assimilation is completely I mean, out of the question? Everybody in, in all, all mainstream political parties and media and platforms would, I mean, would laugh, uh, laugh about the, the word assimilation is a Nazi word in Sweden. We talked to several journalists who described a Stalinist-style atmosphere in Sweden in which citizens are now afraid of saying anything that might get them labeled in the media as racist. They point at you and say you're a racist. Then you will have no career, no job, you might lose your family. Swedish journalist Ingrid Karlqvist and Danish journalist Lars Hedegaard run the online newspaper Dispatch International, which covers issues like immigration that the mainstream media in Sweden ignores. But Karlqvist says their plan for a traditional newspaper failed because Swedes were too scared to have the paper delivered to their homes. Because what if the mailman saw that you had this newspaper? What if your neighbor saw it? then they might think that you are a racist or that you hate Muslims. So we thought we could sort of make an impact. We still think we can, but it's, um, it's uh, tough going. Dispatch International now hangs on through donations. Sweden has become a nation where some viewpoints are simply too risky to even read. What wise Swedish uh, parents do nowadays is to advise their, their kids not to interfere in the public discussion, not to express so-called radical ideas about this or that. A, because why? Why do they advise them? In, because they're afraid whether that, or not that this their is, kids won't get work. Yeah, they, they, it, it'll harm them. That is a very bad situation because you live then in a country where you cannot solve any problems. You cannot even 
You cannot even mention the problems. Hedegaard, a Dane, was nearly killed last year in Copenhagen by an immigrant who came to his door and fired a gun at him. Karl Quist, a Swede, has decided to leave Sweden because of the persecution of those who dissent. Sweden is not going to become a third world nation tomorrow, but according to one report, one day it will. We had a perfectly good country, a rich country, a nice country, and in a few years' time, that country will be gone. Dale Hurd, CBN News, reporting from Sweden and Denmark.